Kenton Jones show, whoa, hey, hey, yeah. This is Kenton Jones show, whoa, hey, yeah. Uh, this is Kenton Jones show, whoa, hey, yeah. Uh, this is Kenton Jones show. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the Kenton Jones show. I am your host, Kenton Jones. Tonight we have a phenomenal show. Tiffany moment is in the building promoting her brand worthy in God and also a redemptive story and also a, re a song called redemptive by Mallory Peck is going to be anointed you need to stay around because this is going to be off the chain but first you know how we got to do it yeah hey <laughs> no one is greater than you Searched all over, but man, I stopped looking. Found God, they kept searching, man, I'm playing hooky. Every time we'll confess that the Lord is greater. So you can either do this now, you can do this later. Put your trust in your God if you want to. I serve the most high, losing is what we don't do. Catch me in the city, somewhere near the people. I don't do this for money, I do this for the people. We looking for seekers, that's looking for Jesus. That's what in the tell the world, that's right, I'm a believer. Every fist in the air. You serve a greater God. If you ain't serving my God, then you are a hater God. <laughs> they calling us a movement. I'm like, wait, two billion strong worldwide. You just late. Made the world in six days. Would have never guessed it. And your God did what? Right. Can't rest it. Yeah. No one is greater than you. Yeah. Huh. than my enemies uh, and even my frenemies and kinemies can keep plotting but I'm winning like it's not a ten of me wanna tell of the world to the nations domestic and international greatness Jesus the king let me make it plain you know I'm undevoted totally unashamed you're amazing you're amazing you're saving without your peace I would literally go crazy so when life is taking shots like a two god I overcome cause still ain't nobody living The WATC TV app can make anywhere feel like home. Wherever you go, home goes with you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Canton Jones Show. I am here with a young business uh, owner, entrepreneur, Miss Tiffany hey, Moment. This is Kenton Jones Show. Whoa, hey, 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 this is Kenton Jones Show. Whoa, hey, yeah, uh, this Welcome is Kenton to the Kenton Jones Show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. So, Worthy in God is the name of the Bird. brand. Yes. All right. How did you come up with that name? So, I started Worthy in God in 2020. All right. Um, I was actually furloughed from my job. And mm. during that time, um, I was like, dang, God, why? You like me off oh, because I'm using this money to invest in, you know, my business ventures, ideas. And mm -hmm. before that, I was actually an entrepreneur. I mm -hmm. had a small business with one of my friends, but you know, we cut that off. Mm -hmm. um, and then at the moment, you now write the guy, I journey to him, I write the vision and make it plain. Right. And 
2020, I looked in it, I was like, hmm, a clothing company. But I didn't know what it was gonna be. Okay. Um, until the moment when I was furloughed, and I was just praying to God, saying, what is my purpose in life? What do you have for me? Uh -huh. And so one day, I was on the phone with uh, one of my friends, and I'm always the encourager person. I'm always the empowering person, right. encouraging people. And so I said, I was like, girl, stop worrying about people, places, and things. You need to find your worth in God. And then I wrote it down, I kept going with that. So that's how I started it off. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. So, wor so worthy in God, and so how long have you been doing your business? For three years now. Three years, three yeah, years. Three. And now you've, uh, like you said, you, you started a business with a friend. Mm -hmm. Y'all stopped that business. Mm -hmm. um, talk about your, 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 your highs and lows as an entrepreneur and how you persevered through that right. to, to be sitting here today. Right. I would say adversity. Uh -huh. uh, learning what that is and keeping God as the finisher of our faith. Yeah. Um, I faced many failures in my business, but I have to put my mind in the place of God will not fail me. Uh -huh. I have to put my mind in the place of faith and knowing that he can and he will. I just got to find my way in it and press through and don't give up. And yeah. Don't be so discouraging because that's the enemy's assignment is to discourage our mind and take our peace and joy. And so I always put faith over fear, yeah, yeah. faith over worry. And don't worry about, okay, I did this wrong, uh -huh. but I'm going to get through it. I did this wrong. This is my mistake, but I'm going to get through it. And God showed me and give me wisdom. So that's how I take adversity as an entrepreneur is uh -huh. learning from my mistakes and make, making better um, decisions. Yeah, uh -huh. man. The, the, name of, the name of our uh, movement is called Free Life. Mm -hmm. uh, and we believe God for 100% entrepreneurship. Yes, yes. And so what is the difference in the moves that you make uh, as an entrepreneur as opposed to having a job because mm -hmm. I know that you know as an entrepreneur you, you know you got to wake up and make it happen it might not be nine to five right, it might be nine right. to nine you right, know what I'm saying right. and so talk about like for those people who are trying to step out on mm -hmm. faith to do uh, uh, to start their business or what, right. what type of uh, sweat equity do mm -hmm. they have to put in, uh, inside of it I would say whew. You, you have to put in the work to see results. Mm -hmm. um, you go, you are going to be discouraged. There mm -hmm. are things. It's not just going, you know. You're going to hit a stumbling block. Yeah. One of these in business is is business, mm -hmm. and so you have to remember the mission and why you started and why God is birthing this out of you, mm -hmm. and stay focused and don't again don't be discouraged when you hit a failure. Mm -hmm. Is to always persevere through it because God is the finisher of our faith. Yeah. Um, and I would say to any entrepreneur out here is to remember why you started. Yeah. What, what is the why? Yeah. And how can you help people through your, your entrepreneurship or your ministry uh -huh. that you have? So. All right. So worthy in God, you, you, you do shirts. Mm -hmm. what, what else do you do? Um, personally, I've, I sing. Um, you I, sing? No, 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 no. <laughs> you are on this show and you are a singer. First of all, I found out through the grapevine, y'all, that she's Church of God in Christ. So I was born and raised Koji. You, yeah. you can't you can't be born in. You got to you, 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 you got, wait. You, you can't, can't join, join in. You got, you got to be born, born in. in. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get Ryan, our, our producer, to start doing the Koji shout. You know what I'm saying? My mama used to shout. You know, right. high heels, the, you know? And so and so you sing as well. Yeah. Do you have yeah. music up? No. Uh, but you're the praise and worship leader right, at the church. church. Come on. So, <laughs> yeah. so I'm, I'm, by faith, she has Worthy in God, and mm -hmm. she has a project coming out soon. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, yeah. You're going to help all me. All right, all right. I'll, I'll help. You're going to help right. me. And, and what else do you do? Um, um, I just do motivational speaking with Worthy in God. Um, I am a philanthropist, so I do, like, community work. I'm always thriving in the community. What can, what, what? can we do as people in unity to help our community grow? All right. All right. Um, I am in Rotary. I'm a Rotary, Rotarian. Um, and I am a mentor uh, with Juvenile Offender Advocates. Really? Yes, I do so, a lot. So tell me this. Um, you know, well, when we come back, uh, I want you to uh, talk to, let's say, if a young girl mm -hmm. um, uh, who's going astray yes. or, or just need some advice, some I want you to talk to that young lady. All right? So All right. Uh, when we come back, you know, we we have uh, the woman of God that's getting ready to tell, you know, speak speak life. Kojic yeah. style. We're going to get the <laughs> ham and beat. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But, uh, you know, and so don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be back with more right here on the Canton Jones Show. Yes, sir.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are still here with Miss Tiffany Moment, the entrepreneur from the brand for the brand uh, Worthy in God. But not only are you an entrepreneur, you were telling me that you do praise and worship. Yeah, go, I yeah. do. Um, <laughs> um, and she's uh, Church of God in Christ, born and raised, and also. Yes. Uh, you mentor young people, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I'm a person that have a heart for young people. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so let's just say, man, that you have a young lady uh, that you're mentoring, maybe somebody that's gone astray, or even if they're just young and, it's, it's, you know, they want to do what you're doing in right. business. Mm -hmm. What would you say? I want you to look at that camera and, mm -hmm. and just talk to that young person. Speak from your heart. Right. First, I would say knowing who you are. And I start off that by saying you are fearfully and wonderfully made and knowing who you are in Christ, because if you don't know who you are, you'll begin to get in communities, get in atmospheres, link with people that you should not be linking with and get into things you should not be getting into. So I would say knowing that you are a child of God, that's where it starts first, because yeah. most young people feel as if I'm searching for something. I don't know who I am. And, and they begin, their minds begin to wonder about who they really are. Hmm and lose focus and sight of who they are. And so I would say, start off by knowing you are a child of God. He calls you worthy. He called you fearfully and wonderfully made. And so when you're facing challenges in life, don't go through them by yourself. Find somebody who you can talk to, you can, who can mentor you and spiritually speak into you. Yeah, so. yeah, man, that's awesome. And uh, a lot of times people uh, always feel, which is a trick of the enemy, mm -hmm. that they're alone and nobody's yes. ever been through this. Yes. It's somebody that's mm -hmm. been through what you've been right. through and they can help talk you through, through that. It. They can help advise you. Exactly. Uh, and in our community, we need more mentorship. Yes, what, yes. More than mentorships, we need parents. <laughs> Talk about um, it. Yes. You, you wouldn't need yes. as many parents yes. if the parents mentored their own children. Exactly. And so uh, we believe in God. And, and then sometimes they people become parents mm -hmm. uh, at a, at a young age, young yep. age yep. or a yep. crazy time, mm -hmm. and they don't know what yep. to do, yep. and so they do the yep. best that they can. So we're believing God to help mentor mm -hmm. parents. Yes, you know? yes, and, you know, Sometimes yes. the, the child needs mm. mentor, but the parent needs mentoring. Need mentoring, too. And so, uh, yes. and so we, we, so worthy in God. Um, T talk about your business five years from now. <laughs> Where I see myself in five years, um, and I, I work, I wrote this down like three years ago before I even started. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. not even having the money to do it. Mm -hmm. But I see uh, an enterprise, and I want that enterprise to look like community. Yeah. I want unity. I want people to, you know, of course, find who they are in Christ. Have ministers in it to speak like more kind of like mentoring mm -hmm. uh, and also a place where people can grow and learn network uh, and just really find who they are in Christ yeah. just a, a whole community of building people together um, learn new traits mm -hmm. I want that that place to you know gain traits in, in, in stuff that they don't have knowledge of right uh, like technical college school. Mm -hmm. You can go to a technical school and pick up a trade and make money off of it. Just like marketing, yeah. networking, entrepreneurship. Yeah. Uh, and so, but more so of, of them gaining a relationship with Christ. It's my number one thing. Wow. So Worthy in God is not just a clothing line, mm -hmm. but it's a brand yes. that represents a group of people mm -hmm. that are that are really coming to the to, to the knowledge of knowing, knowing that God. they're worthy in God. God. That's yeah. good. There you go. That is good. That is good. So there's a, there's a bigger plan than yes. just, the, just, just the clothing. Just and, the t-shirt. And, and yeah. so, wow, wow, wow. Y'all make mm -hmm. sure y'all support. Um, how do we get in contact with you? Give us your social media with information. Me, um, my Instagram is Worthy in God. This is Worthy in God. Uh, Facebook is Worthy in God. And our website is www.worthyingod.com. Uh, and you can find me personally on Facebook is Tiffany B. Moment. So. Tiffany B. Moment. Yes. All right. So uh, I got like a couple seconds left. Mm -hmm. And the praise and worship leader didn't show up for today. So me and you, we got to do some classic Church of God okay. in Christ. <laughs> Let's do the it. musician late. Yeah, they late. We don't have no music. We gotta go acapella. No drum. We don't have <laughs> nothing. nothing. We just gotta clap <laughs> right. and sing. You gotta give me what's what's some three three uh, Kojic standards. Give me one. 
I know this is, my mama used to sing this. Well, you is start off now, yeah. You got, you, you, so this is the day, okay. it gotta be one. Okay. What's uh, the next one? Uh, blessed up, what a Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> it's what, the coach is looking, the clap, they always do that. Okay. The double clap, All right, okay. so what's that, so blessed up, what a that's the second one. And, uh, uh, I'm we can end it with. I'm running for my life, I'm running for my life. If anybody asks you what, you too young for that I'm one? I'm too young for that one now. What? We can end it with a slow one. I need Okay, that's the right. Old. And they always interrupt, when everybody yeah. shout, somebody always say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, that one. Okay. All right, so, so here we go. This is the day. This, this is, is the day, day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Right, bless that. No, it's blessed that. Go to the second song. Uh, I need hey. the all. I need thee. Yeah. Every hour. Yeah. I need thee. Bless me now. There you go. I say. Yeah. I'm going to. Come on. To. To the. Come on. All right. So y'all give it up. Listen, listen, Tiffany, y'all going to see her everywhere doing business. I'm, I'm going to get her to do some type of music, something. Yes. We're going to get it. All yeah, right, and we'll see you in the in the Koji Church pretty soon. I'm going to come visit y'all church. We have to. All right, we love you. Hey, make sure y'all keep it locked. We got more coming your way right here on the Ken Jones Show. Go to WATC's YouTube channel to see past episodes of many of your WATC favorite programs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Tonight, we are blessed with the beautiful sounds from Miss Mallory Peck singing Faithful Through It All, right here on the Family Jones Show. Yes, sir.
Wow, wow, wow. Sorry for screaming, but I'm just excited. <laughs> All right, so um, you have a song, um, you know, written by one of the gentlemen that, that visited our show uh, a, a couple months back um, called The Redemption Story or Redemptive Story. Redemption Story. Is it Redemption Story? Yes. Tell me about this Redemption Story because everybody's been buzzing about this song. Please yes. tell me about it. Yes. So um, my son, I have, I've, when I came on the show the last time, I was talking about my son. Mm -hmm. And he went through a lot of health issues okay. when he was born. Uh -huh. um, he had to have open heart surgery, a lot of urology surgeries. And it's funny because when, um, God healed him of that. Completely wow. healed him wow. of that. Amen. A miraculous story. Um, a little backstory. I had um, not the whole thing, but I had doctors coming to me in the hospital at CHOA right here in Atlanta mm -hmm. saying, this does not happen. And I said, yes, it does happen. Wow, and Jesus, <laughs> and, Yes. And so after all of that, and he got home, he was in the hospital about two months. I was in the bathroom, and I was getting ready for bed, and I was in there by myself, and I just started singing, um, I believe in your word. I believe in your promise. I believe in the power of your name. And I was just thinking back on my son, but I was like, thank you, God. Mm. Like, just worshiping him for like, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> just worshiping him for everything that he had brought my family through. Yeah. And so I was um, set to go meet Malachi Mills mm -hmm. the next day. And so I go, and we were working on other projects, and I started telling him about uh, the little snippet of the song that I had started mm -hmm. and um, he was like oh my gosh let's just pause everything like we got to write this song yeah. and so redemption story was like a long time coming that God like had just taken my family through and then Malachi was like let's do this like we got to write this song and then it ended up being just like a hit in our local community mm -hmm. and everybody just was like this is just changing my life mm. and all because of you know something that tragic that my family had went through like mm. God is using this story of de you know that what the devil thought was going to destroy me right. you know God's like I'm not going to let that destroy you I'm going to use wow, that wow. for my glory and that's exactly what he has been doing so with you, I mean, you just story. <laughs> you just saying faithful through it all uh-huh and so, like, it's like both songs yes. are so relevant to the situation. Yes. And, and so, wow, uh, you got to give your social media handles and everything, because I, you, you, I'm waiting for you to sing this song. Chills went yes. up my spine when you sang that chorus just now. Mm -hmm. So give everybody your social media handle, handles, how they can get your music, how they can get in con contact with you. Yes. I'm sure people are going to be calling you to sing oh, this song. Oh, yes, yes. It's one, uh, so my Instagram is Mallory. Peck underscore 87, and my email is malo2187 at gmail.com, and then I'm also on Facebook just as Mallory Peck, so that's right. how you can get in touch with All me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to hear this song, Redemption Story by Mallory Peck, right here on the Canton Jones Show. Thank y'all for watching. Still